Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we're gonna have a look at my game room. I've been collecting for the past eight years. I collect video games, mainly NES and Game Boy Classic. It's what I'm trying to get a full set for. And toy-wise, I really like vintage TMNT. Before we hit the game room, please hit that subscribe button. Now let's go take a look. Some of y'all might recognize this. This is the backdrop for all of my videos. I got the meat of my collection right here. These are all my boxed games, my loose games that are worth showcasing. And let's start on top with the box consoles. Okay, so on top over here, we kind of have a toy store feeling going on. You got all the products in the cases, uh, complete in the box. These are all the consoles of the gaming systems I'm looking to get games for. We got some bigger toys right here. You got the Terminator, Turtles, Big JP, Dinosaur. But the main attraction over here must be the Turtles NES set. Now this came out in the PAL countries and it's really sought after. I'm so glad I can look at this thing every day. This is my boxed NES shelf that has a little Samsung loose. Um, yeah, I also have a Game Chasers DVD that's signed. Really love that show. And let's get into some of the heavy hitters. Now, this first one is Bucky O'Hare. This is one of the games I picked up in the good old days. You could still get boxed games for 10 euros at the flea market. Really great that I could pick this one up because it's also a fun game. And another one is Turtles Tournament Fighters the PAL B version. Now this is very hard to come by. I have been looking for the past three years and I finally acquired it a couple months ago. Now one of the last games I'm going to talk about is Pro Protector. Now you may not notice but this is actually Contra for the European markets. This game is just as tough as Contra but they, they changed the sprites around. Now they're actually robots fighting aliens in this game. It's got really pretty box art. These are all of my loose NES games. I really enjoy collecting for this system. Um, I have about 350 games of which 100 are complete in the box. Now, the NES is the first gaming system I started collecting for. I really want to get a full set, but it's getting so hard to um, acquire any games at a really good price. Also because I'm trying to go for all the NTSC games, so all the American releases. So, some of the heavy hitters I've already been able to acquire is probably this Power Blade 2 game. Now, this is an exclusive for America. I bought this game at a store in Brussels for only 30 euros and then what do you know, I end up looking up eBay and it goes for around 200 euros, that's crazy. Talking about exclusives, I also have this Euphoria game that I picked up this year. Now this is a very fun game, and yeah, definitely check it out. I'll be doing some more videos later on in the year about the differences between PAL releases and the NTSC releases, but also price-wise or just the exclusives. Some of the other heavy hitters I have over here are Panic Restaurant and Gargoyles Quest 2. Really happy to have these. As you can see, Panic Restaurant looks a little weird because it has a different cover over here for the PAL release. Now, I've been really busy with the NES and the Game Boy library that I'm trying to up, but I also have a couple of cool SNES games in the box. Now, my favorite one over here is probably Alien vs. Predator. Love that box art. Now, this is an NTSC game, which I have a couple of over here. As you can see, 
I have Chrono Trigger, I got Super Mario RPG, and Kings of Dragons. I don't really differentiate between the two. If I get it, PAL version, that's fine. If I get the NTSC version, that's also great. I have a lot more of these PAL games, but they just suck to, to put up on a shelf because they don't have any end labels. I got a couple boxes over there, but uh, yeah, I'm not putting them in the shelf because it would just be a massive amount of gray stuff to look at. All right, Game Boy, let's talk about Game Boy. Game Boy is taking over all of my collection. It's crawling up in all of the shelves. And yeah, I'm at around 750 Game Boy titles right now. This is of course Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, but mainly Game Boy Classic, of which I have a 530 games collection right now. And one of the favorite games on the Game Boy I've recently grown to love is this Darkwing Duck game. Now, this Darkwing Duck game is really cool. It's based on the same engine as Mega Man. Of course, it's a Capcom release, so you can't really go wrong with that. It's fairly inexpensive to get loose, so check it out. Also, have some Pokemon mini games over here. These are pretty cool to collect for, but you'll hardly come across any of these tiny games, unfortunately. Now, why do I have so many Game Boy games over here in Europe? It seems like everybody owned the Game Boy. If you went to the flea market a couple years ago, you could snatch up a couple of Game Boy lots for fairly cheap. And that's why I have so many. Um, I also had a Game Boy as a kid, and this is my personal Game Boy console. As you can see, it's got a lot of wear and tear, but I spent so many hours on this. I used to smack it down on the floor, <laughs> rage quitting when I was playing Super Mario Land for the first couple times. Wario Land is my favorite game, so that deserve, that definitely deserves a spot. I also got this Game Boy Micro, which is the pink edition. Now, why do I have a pink Game Boy Micro? It's because it was only 15 euros. <laughs> If you see a Game Boy Micro in the box for 15 euros, you pick it up. This is my boxed N64 collection. Now, the N64 doesn't have a really big library. I don't really collect for it too much, but it's actually the first console I had as a kid. Now, I really love playing on the N64. My friends used to come over and we play Mario Kart together. One of the best memories I have is actually Lilac Wars 64. Now, this is Lilith Wars for the 64. It's actually Star Fox 64, but this is a European release. It got a really big box, and I was just the happiest kid getting this uh, for my birthday, I think. So, these next two shelves are some of the more recent generations of consoles. I actually quit playing games and started playing guitar after the N64 was over, so I didn't really play any GameCube, but I have a small collection right now. Then, when the DS came out and the Pokemon games were so great, my friends started saying, hey, you gotta start playing Pokemon again. So, I bought a DS, I got some Pokemon games for it, and I fell in love again. And that's when I actually also started to collect the retro games. So, yeah, this is why all of the rest is really happening right now. I also got some Wii games, some Wii U games, and uh, yeah, got Shovel Knight right here still in the box. I love this game. It's probably the best game that came out for me in the past couple years. Alright, let's get down and dirty with some Mega Drive games. Now this is the first part of my Sega collection. I got some Genesis games, I got some Mega Drive games. It's the same system. I also have this boxed Nomad in my collection. I really like this. This was crazy to find over here in Europe because it only came out in America. Some of y'all might see this Castlevania game right here called Next Generation, but it's actually Castlevania Bloodlines, the European release. 
other than that, some of my favorite games on the system are actually Rocket Knight Adventures. Now, this is a game I found at a flea market for 3 euros. It goes for a lot more than that. Yeah, I used to play Mega Drive over at my friends' houses, but I never saw a Sega Master System up until when I started retro collecting, and that's the next system we're gonna take a look at. All right, so this is my Sega Master System collection. I actually have more Master System games than I have Mega Drive games, but it's such a fun system to collect for. I have about 150 games right now. I still need 120 more for a full set, so that might be one of my next goals that I'm trying to go for. As you can see, this is a double layered um, shelf. So there's a lot of games in there. I kind of picked the ones that have the best end labels to put over here. And yeah, let's get into some of my favorite games for the system. Now, Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap, so Wonder Boy 3 is one of the best games on the system. Most of these games I acquired at flea markets and I don't really know what I'm buying but I'm usually surprised in a good way when I end up playing them. The smallest collection that I have is probably for the PS1. Now I used to have a bigger collection but I sold off a lot of these games. I kept only the ones I really want to play and the ones that I have some nostalgic feeling for. The most expensive game I have is probably this Castlevania Symphony of the Night Collector's Edition. And my favorite game on the system is Medieval. If I can only grab it out there. Yeah, Medieval. I actually only played the demo disc as a kid and loved the demo disc. So then when I started retro collecting, I can finally purchase this game and play it. Totally love it. Now, all of the good games, you know, you got your Tekken, you got Final Fantasy, some GTA, there's Silent Hill, there's... Uh, Resident Evil, so all of the horror games. Yeah, I'm really happy actually with my collection even though it's so small because I know I'll play all of these. So let's get into some of the different parts of my game room slash nerd cave. This is of course Castle Grayskull. I've got some He-Man figurines up here and down here is my game and watch collection. Now I really started collecting for the game and watch a couple of years ago and I really enjoy it. These tiny handheld systems are just so much fun to collect for. When you go to garage sales, people don't really know what they're worth or anything, so it's fun to collect these. Then the rest of this glass case just has a couple of other toy stuff in there. I got some Toxic Crusaders in the box, there's some Ghostbusters, there's some G.I. Joe, but mainly this stuff is just overflow from new purchases that I've done. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this glass case yet, what I want to showcase in here. I'm still really renovating my house, so it'll probably end up as something else. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see what my game room looks like next year. These are all my CDs. I mainly have punk rock CDs and metal CDs. There's some rock in there. Um, one of my favorite bands of all time is probably Descendants. And another band I really love is the Canadian band called Belvedere. Now this is technical punk rock. I've had this CD ever since I saw them for the first time in 2004. And I still play this CD every week. So yeah, definitely check out Belvedere if you haven't already. I also play guitar in bands. These are some of my guitars I'm currently not using when I go out playing live, but I really love all my guitars. Now, this is a Gibson RD. It's got a really weird shape, but it sounds amazing. Um, yeah, it looks like an axe. It feels like an axe. It's really heavy, and it's cool to play hardcore with. Another guitar I'd like to show you guys is this Gibson Les Paul Jr. This was the first guitar I probably got. Uh, it's from 1982. It's got a P90 pickup in there. But yeah, this started off as a game room tour and now we're starting to show guitars. So, 
If there's a collection video of my game room or nerd cave, whatever you want to call it, that you want to see a more in-depth uh, collection video about, please let me know down in the comments. I'll read all of them and I'll definitely try to make it on a collection video if you really want to see it. All right, let's get into some of the more intellectual, stimulating parts of my collection. I got my books right here, I got some vinyl, I got some DVDs over here. Um, yeah, intellectual, intellectually stimulating, of course. I got some Mad Magazine books right here. Got some books by Charles Bukowski, my favorite writer. And yeah, I also have some comics, of course. I like Marvel, like DC, all of the Batman. Um, all of the Batman comic books are definitely worth checking out. And, of course, I got lots of toys over here. I got some Ghostbusters, some Small Soldiers, He-Man, of course, again. And here's some Thundercats. I also have a pretty big Mad Magazine collection right now because I picked up a huge lot a couple months ago, which I'll do another video about. Mad Magazine is something... I really enjoyed from my youth. This is a copy that my mom actually got and then somehow I found her stash as a kid and just started reading them and yeah it's also just nostalgia for me. So any toy room or game room needs a really comfy couch. Now this is the couch I got for my game room and I also have a chest right here. Now in this chest I'm keeping all of my loose Game Boy games and Game Gear games, so yeah. Oh, it's it's just a mess in here. Over here in this shoe box is most of my Game Boy collection. Some loose cards. Yeah. I should probably do a different video on this to really showcase it more. And I also have some horror magazines in here. I really like The Dark Side. It talks about old horror movies, new horror movies. And yeah, I just have these laying around for whenever I just want to flip through and chill. Then, this couch actually holds a really big secret because it has a hidden compartment. Let me show you. The couch turns into a bed. And in there is part of my N64 collection, all the loose cards I have. Pretty fun to have some extra storage space in this couch. Now, let's see what's behind the couch. All right, so welcome to Behind the Couch with Ed. Now, <laughs> behind this couch, I got most of my turtles boxes. Um, yeah, this is a tub full of turtle toys. This is a tub full of other toys like uh, Jurassic Park, Power Rangers, anything else from the 90s or 80s that I'm collecting. Now, behind all this is most of my toy collection, but yeah, I don't really have enough space right now to showcase any of it, but it's still cool to just have a couple of really cool items over here that you can still look at. Um, I started collecting toys about three years ago when the retro gaming market really started blowing up and you just couldn't find uh, a ton of games anymore so in order to keep going out the flea markets I decided hey I'm also gonna collect toys and that made it much more fun for me to go out the flea markets and still finding stuff so this is the last wall I have to show you in this game room tour I got some of my masters of the universe boxes right there the castles all right so this is my temporarily gaming setup it's not even set up really I used to have it set up downstairs, but then when I moved up here, uh, I still haven't found the time or a TV to actually hook it up to. The thing about my gaming setup is space. Yeah, like I, I'll, I'll put like the power base on top of my Mega Drive so I can play Master System games and still play just regular Mega Drive games, but I don't have to put two consoles in here. Also for the Wii, I use my Wii to play GameCube on, and yeah, most of the time I really just play my Retron 5 because it's awesome, and it puts it all into HD. Got this old TV right here to play my Zapper Gun games or my Light Phaser games with, and yeah, I'm really hoping I can buy a TV somewhere next year and start hooking this up and start playing again. Right now I just have my Switch, 
hooked up downstairs and I'm playing that and sometimes I'll hook up something to this dining TV but yeah I really hope I can get this all fixed fairly soon. Or here we got a couple of card figures from the TMNT line and then probably my favorite piece I acquired this year for my TMNT collection is this Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles store display which I put my very own sewer playset that I had as a kid on. I also put up some figurines I really like. Here I have a Technodrome, I got some more box vehicles, and up top is the Turtle Blimp, and next to it another store display. Now this one is from the toy store I used to buy my turtles from, so it's really cool. I have it in my possession right now. So this game room tour is coming to an end. Thank you all for watching. Definitely leave, leave a like and maybe hit that subscribe button because I put out a video every Monday. I do live game hunting, live toy hunting, doing toy collections, whatever, all of the geeky stuff you probably love. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.